few things to know. Snow overnight and tomorrow morning. Blowing snow Saturday, much colder next week. We have winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings in effect. Mountain pass snow going to be significant. Where you have our purple shading in eastern Washington and North Idaho, a couple of inches of snow, but it's the freezing and blowing snow thereafter that exacerbates the impacts of this thing. Snow call me and Stephen start to see the snow tonight. Sherman and Lookout, you're pretty good through today. We'll see it widespread tomorrow, kind of in the morning more than the afternoon. Lookout, you're talking some serious serious snow and behind that snow comes that drop in temps Sunday and Monday wind up being our coldest and then we'll do a steady climb back up toward uh, kind of normal by next weekend. So it's a quick dip in the cold, but it's enough that it's going to have some big impacts. There's our storm. It makes its way basically right over the top of us, bringing with it the cold front and the Arctic air. It starts tonight. Notice in Spokane, putting it down as a wintry mix. One forecast model has us as rain all night and through tomorrow. I don't think that's going to happen, but look, this line is right down the road. We are going to see a mix of rain and snow here in town, eventually turning to snow, eventually moving out. Saturday, we'll get another quick shot in the morning, but by then temperatures are cold enough and dropping that it all stays snow. We get wind on the backside of this and a lot of it. We'll talk that in a second. Let's talk snow. It's one to two in Spokane, one to three in Coeur d'Alene, one to three in Sandpoint, around one in Colville, and we're talking a wet, heavy snow. Wet, heavy, almost slushy snow. And then when you're talking that wind picking up, it's gonna have some impacts. 10 to 15 miles per hour on Friday, and then as we move from Friday into Saturday, uh, well, all right, we just jumped it. Winds are going to be around 40 to 50 miles per hour. That is enough to down trees, break tree limbs, knock out power, and drop temps. When you go from 40 today and tomorrow to all the way down to near zero by early next week, that's a lot of wind to make that happen. And that means everything that falls and winds up in that kind of melty, freezy, slushy mess freezes solid by next week.